Hello everybody, my name is Mike Geig, uh, and in this video we will be looking at the Visual Studio 2010 interface. Now before we begin, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Visual Studio 2010. Uh, namely, at the time of recording, uh, the Visual Studio 2010 is the most recent version. Uh, it's otherwise known as Visual Studio 10. Uh, I do believe Visual Studio 11 is in beta, uh, but it has not been released yet, so we, were we are going to be using this Visual Studio 2010. Now, there are several versions of this software. Um, I will be using Visual Studio 2010 Professional Edition. Uh, however, I believe you can get Visual Studio 2010 Express Edition uh, for free online. There's also uh, C Sharp uh, Edition, or C++ Edition, or Web Developer Edition, and things like that. You need to get the, whichever version will allow you to do Windows programming with C Sharp. I believe you can get the Express Edition or the, the, the C Sharp Edition. Now, if you have the free version of Visual Studio 2010, you should be able to follow along with most of the videos uh, I will be putting up. However, I have discovered that there are issues with deployment, namely creating setup projects. Uh, those are only available in the professional edition and, and upwards. Um, and so when it comes to those videos, if you do not have the professional edition, uh, you'll just have to watch. Uh, you won't be able to actually participate. Um, because the Express Edition just does not have those features. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Now, when you open up Visual Studio, you're going to see something like this. If it's the first time you've ever opened up Visual Studio, you may get a menu that pops up and asks you uh, what you want your format or layout to be or what type of Visual Studio you want. Um, you could choose just general or you could choose C Sharp. It doesn't really matter. It just affects how some of the menus look, but really it's not a big deal. So just pick whichever one uh, seems reasonable to you and it will bring you to a screen very similar to this. Now, in this screen, uh, we have a few things here. We have our get started news and things like that center in the section here. Uh, we have up here, which is where we can uh, uh, connect to a foundation server. We can create a new project or we can open a project. All right, I'll talk more about projects in a second. Uh, we can also see a list of previous projects. Um, you can see here I've been using my uh, Visual Studio recently, and I have some projects here uh, that I can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a project before we start talking about some of these other windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click New Project. A new project window is going to open up. Uh, you should see something similar to this. Now I want to make a note that I have up here Visual C Sharp uh, highlighted. Some of you might have Visual Basic highlighted or Visual C++. It all depends on uh, what your last project was or what version uh, or, or type of Visual Studio you're using. Uh, so whatever it says over here, locate Visual C Sharp. You may have to uh, drill down a menu to find it, uh, Visual C Sharp. And then we have a whole bunch of options here. All right. Um, what I want to use, I'm just keeping it simple. We're not going to look at any code right now. I'm just going to choose a real quick console application. I'm going to hit OK. Mostly I just want to take a look at the interface. And so we see our, our default console application interface here. Uh, what I have is I have my main programming window. It's the biggest window right here in the center where I can see the code that's auto-generated for me. Over here on the right-hand side, we have the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer allows us to view all of the files in our project. Now, a project is something we use or something we create inside Visual Studio, and it, it's the, all of the files that allow our program to work. All right. So all of these files are, right now are our program.cs and and these references and prop, all these things are part of our project, which is console application. I didn't give it a different name. All right. And they they appear here in our in our uh, solution explorer. Uh, we also have some other things, uh, class viewers, team explorers, uh, and a real quick find and replace. We're going to leave all that alone. Um, and we have another window down here, our properties window. Now, while we're doing console applications, our properties window isn't going to be all that important. We're not going to do a whole lot with that. However, when we start working with Windows app, windowed applications, all right, with forms and, things, and controls and things like that, this properties window becomes very, very important. All right, so be sure you have your properties window. Uh, put it wherever you like, uh, but I just want you to know where that is and what it is.
Finally, we have the output window here. Uh, the output window is uh, the result of our program executing. Uh, we can also see our error lists. Uh, we have a command window here. Uh, we can do some uh, some other things here. Uh, we're just going to leave this at output right now. Uh, this window will be very useful for seeing errors or seeing any runtime output uh, that we may need to check. Now, we can run applications in one of a couple ways. The first is this green arrow right here, Start Debugging. All right. And if you see the tooltip, you can also see that I can hit F5. So I'm going to click this arrow, and the screen's going to flash. Uh, obviously, our program doesn't do anything, and so it flashes and goes away. But look in our output window, we can see all of the output of this program running. All right. So it fills it with some stuff. Likewise, I can hit F5, my program runs again, uh, and again, a bunch of stuff. All right. I'm not really going to get into the rest of this stuff. Uh, a lot of these should be pretty familiar, like the saves and copy and paste. Uh, but most of this stuff will kind of go over as we need it uh, in our programming. Uh, so take some time, uh, go through all the different menus, see what the different options are. Uh, don't don't play around too much, uh, lest you you do something to your installation of Visual Studio. Um, we'll cover the important stuff as we as we get through our project. So um, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we will create our first uh, C-Sharp program.